Paris wasn't always the beautiful romantic holiday destination that it is today. If you travel back in time to the end of the 18th century, you'll see that its medieval cemetery was desperately overcrowded with rotting corpses. So chockers, in fact, that the soil was more than eight feet over the level of the street. Not only was this unsightly, it was downright unsanitary, and something needed to be done before disease started rearing its ass-kicking head. Luckily, there was a solution. Go back even further, all the way to 60 BC, when limestone was being excavated to build the city of Paris directly above. This left a convenient empty space below the city, the perfect place to sweep a few pesky unwanted corpses under the rug and out of sight. So between 1785 and 1859, more than 6 million bodies representing 30 generations of Parisians were dug up and stashed in this subterranean tunnel, forming what is now known as the Catacombs. And on the 19th of June 1994, they started letting any old member of the public down into these tunnels to have a squeeze at the ancient mass grave, for a small €2.50 fee of course. decided to go and check it out for ourselves. Into the catacombs of Paris. No idea. We're in the catacombs below Paris. Spooky! After descending down a long spiral staircase, we made our way along a seemingly never-ending winding corridor. We were starting to think that maybe we got jibbed for our two and a half euros and there were no human remains. But soon enough, the scenery changed. Looks like we just walked into Alice in Wonderland. The truly amazing thing about this immense burial chamber is the way the bodies were deposited. That's pretty spooky. They weren't just dumped in any unorderly fashion. The bones were meticulously aligned and stacked to create the walls of around two kilometres of walking passage. There are so many bones here, it's unbelievable. I just can't believe they just had the bones there for people to touch. Hip bones connected to the thigh bone. Interesting wallpaper. How many bugs do you think are in there? They are eerily arranged to form patterns. Skull and crossbones. There's a big cross over here. And even hearts. I think that's supposed to be a love heart. Yeah, it's made with love. This is freaky as. Yes. It really is a bizarre experience being down there amongst what's left of around six million living beings that were once just like you or me. I know I've never seen anything like this. Jag, Lee, they've never seen anything like this. It's much more in your face than your regular old cemetery. Once again on this trip I find myself saying I've never seen anything like this. It seems fake. Never ever seen human bones like this. I feel like I'm in a pirate cave. It's just so overwhelming. It just can't be real. You keep on expecting to see a little factory making fiberglass bones. Have a look at this. Fiberglass. There's a smell in here. It's pretty musty. This phenomenal collection of bones covers around 11,000 square metres. All the bones are just mixed together. I mean, the rich are buried amongst the poor. There's no label saying who's who. And one person's skeleton could be scattered throughout the whole tunnel. I haven't seen a tooth. No, there's actual teeth on this one. Oh, yeah. Honey, you need to brush those. No, I think he's done all right. Still better than the rest of his head. Just when you think there couldn't be any more bones, more bones. They just keep going. I'm getting a little buzz over about human skulls. When I got here, it was scary as And, uh, now. Oh, it's time. Oh, it's time. We're getting kicked out now. I think they only let a certain amount of people down here for a certain amount of time because of the carbon dioxide. But these morbid catacombs only make up one tiny portion of the 300 or so kilometres of abandoned cavities below the city. And throughout history, the empty space has had many other uses. Before the revolution, Charles X threw crazy parties in the tunnels. And during the war, the French resistance and the Germans both set up camp down here. Today, it's illegal to enter the vast underground labyrinth unescorted. People have lost their lives down here. Most famously, a guy called Philippe Aspert, whose body was discovered 11 years after he disappeared alone into the tunnels. Ironically, only a few metres from the exit that he was unable to find in the dark. 
But despite regular patrols by the police, people still go down there, graffitiing the tunnels and even hosting raves. On our way back up to the surface, just before we were about to leave, we had our bags searched to make sure we weren't trying to smuggle out any bones. Apparently people try to sneak them out quite often. How many people steal bones from there? People take bones every day. There's pieces of bones around here that are just loose and you can just whack one in the backpack and it'll walk, walk away with a human skull. That's absolutely <laughs> Someone's stolen a skull from there. One or two bones. One or two a day? Yes, they... Although why you'd want authentic human remains as a memoir of your trip to Paris, I don't really get. But I suppose not everyone is a sucker for the miniature Eiffel Tower replicas. <laughs> 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 <laughs>